Shalom Aleichem, everyone. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. And I want to thank my dear, dear Talmud, Yirmi Ertel, for being our recorder today. And Yashakayak uh, Yirmi. Um, I've had the privilege and unfortunate uh, situation that I had to be in the hos- I've had to be in the hospital over the past couple of days. Uh, on the one hand, for a very, very special simcha, um, my son Zechariah, who was a former Madrich in Mivaseret, had his first child this week, a baby boy, on Tuesday. Tremendous, tremendous simcha. On the other hand, the very next day, unfortunately, my father had some uh, fluid in his lungs, had to go to the hospital, meets Hashem. He'll be coming out soon, but he's undergoing some treatments. Baruch Hashem, he's on the mend as well. So we had to spend a bunch of time in the hospital the past couple of days for good things and less good things as well. I'm just reminded of an unbelievable comment that the Chazanish once made. Uh, we call in Hebrew hospitals, we call them Beit Cholim. And uh, the Chazanish never referred to a hospital as a Beit Cholim. What he referred to the hospital as is a Beit Rifua, as a place of healing. Not a place for the sick, but a place of healing. And in a lot of ways, what a tremendous lesson, what a tremendous Musar Haskel that is. Is that you could look at a hospital as a place of the sick, a place of illness, a place of sick. And on the other hand, you could look at a hospital as a Beit Rifua, a place to get better, a place to heal, a place where you go for a little bit and walk out, Mitz Hashem, a new man. And that attitude, a different the language reflects this, our attitude, our countenance, all reflects how we view things in life. Challenges we can view as opportunities for growth, or we can view as annoying setbacks. And there's a fundamental difference how we view these matters, and it really could be a real life changer. There's a beautiful idea that comes from this parsha, um, in Parsha Vayigash, which I like to say over every single year. And it comes from the very striking dialogue that Paro has with Yaakov Avinu when he meets him for the first time. And the Torah tells us that finally Yosef and Yaakov are reunited, and Yosef wants to introduce Yaakov, his father, to Paro. Vayomer Paro Yaakov. And Paro asks Yaakov, Kama yimei shnei chayecha. First thing he says to him is, How old are you? It's the first question Paro asks. He doesn't say, how was your trip? He doesn't say, can I get you a drink, a chair? Can you lie down? Can you take a rest? No, no. First thing he says is, how old are you? And Yaakov answers, I've lived 130 years. They haven't been long years. They've been tough years. And I have not reached the ages of my father Yitzchak or my grandfather Avram Avinu. Yitzchak, of course, dies at 180 years old and Avram at 175. I have not reached those years. That was Yaakov's answer. It's been a tough life. And there's a very stunning medrash. It's quoted in the old Mikros Gedolos by the Das Sekein and Baliatosis. And the Medrash says that Hashem got upset at Yaakov for this answer. Because Yaakov, he complains. He seems to have, uh, it's been tough. It's been tough. And of course, Yaakov is one of the Avos. And he's expected, he's, there's a very high standard for the Avos HaKadoshim. And he complains. He complains. Now, perhaps he was justified. Any normal person, he had a tough life. He had to deal with an Asaph, And the struggles with Asa already started when he was in the womb. He had to deal with love, and he had to deal with the loss of Yosef. He had to deal with the rape of his daughter Dina. There was a lot, a lot, a lot of difficult things dealing with Lavan, etc. The loss of his beloved wife Rachel, the flipping of the wives, Lavan, uh, Leah, Rachel. He had to deal with a lot. There was a, t- a lot of challenges in Yaakov's life. Hashem responds in the Medrash, Yes, life was tough for you, but every step of the way I was there with you. I saved you from Esav. I saved you from Lavan. You are now reunited with, with your son Yosef. You have Yud Bey Shvatim. Every step of the way, there were challenges, but I was there with you. You grew from those challenges. You became Yaakov Avinu because of those challenges. And the Medrash concludes and says that Yaakov was punished. He was taken to task. For every word of his answer, he lost one year of his life. Because of those complaints, he lost one year of his life. He was destined to live to 180 years, just like his father Yitzchak. But there were 33 words in his answer. He loses one year for every one of those words. And therefore, he's going to die at the age of 147. That's the Medrash. Rav Chaim Shmulevitz in the Sichus Musa just points out, wait a second. His words in his answer were not 33. He only had 
a 25 word answer. Where are the missing eight years, eight words? His answer is only 25. You're only going to get to 25 years, not 33. So if Chaim Shmulevitz answers, the answer is Pashuk is obvious. You know what's part of the Cheshbon? How do you get from 25 to 33? By Yomer, Paro, El, Yaakov, that's four. Kama, Yemei, Shnei, Chayecha. Plus four is eight. The very question that Paro asks is part of the calculation, is part of the equation. Because something prompted Paro to ask that question. He saw in Yaakov, how old are you? He looked old. He looked like the burdens of all those challenges he carried on his face. He carried on his countenance. And therefore, Paro asks, Kama yimei shnei chayecha. Again, we're not crit critiquing the Avos HaKadoshim, of course. They're on a very, very high level. But the message for us is very profound, is that we are always faced with life's challenges. And you can look at things in different ways. You can look at a hospital as a Beit Cholim, or you can look at a hospital as a Beit Refuah. You can look at your challenges in life as setbacks, annoyances, disturbances. Ugh, another tough day, another tough day, another challenge with my child, with my job, with my boss. Or you can look at it as it's a challenge, but that's an opportunity for growth. That's an opportunity to be propelled, to be elevated, to accomplish, to overcome hurdles and obstacles are how we grow. And that perhaps is the message that Hashem is teaching, not Yaakov Avinu, he doesn't really need that message. It's teaching us that message, is that when you have a positive attitude, even when life is tough, and you approach life, people, life, challenges, with an upbeat attitude that I'm gonna achieve, I'm gonna overcome, I'm gonna meet this challenge head on. What a game changer. It changes everything. When you look at a hospital and you say, a Beit Rifuah, changes your whole perspective. And that perspective can really, really build you in a lot of different ways. I think about the people I feel closest to. My friends are not the sarcastic, cynical, they're upbeat people. I enjoy being around upbeat people. Most people do. Most people like to be around positive people. And that's the message of these psukim in Parshat Vayigash. That's what Yaakov Avina teaches us. That's what the Medrash teaches us. So I give everyone a bracha that we should walk through our days, the good days and the days that we don't yet see the good, and see them with, experience those days with a positivity, with an energy, with understanding that even the setbacks in life are opportunities, challenges for more and more and more growth. Have a wonderful Shabbos.